Hi everyone, this is Jan, Elite One Stroke Instructor, and I have a little tip for you today. Whenever you have done a class and you're finishing up your paintings and maybe you uh, made a few errors or whatever, or you look at your painting after you've done it, you're thinking, you know, I'd really like to change this. So this is a tip on changing it. I did a Zoom class the other night with Michelle James and we did these blue poppies. And after I wanted to come back the next day, after everything is dry, I was ready to go ahead and do the final uh, stroking on the poppies. But I did notice that the poppies were really light and I didn't feel I had enough of the darks that you see in here. So, an easy way to correct that is to make sure your uh, painting is dry. And I came back in this morning and I put in the darks, the color she used for the darks, and then the medium color that she used for the petals. So, you're just going to put that on your, where your petals are and then put the medium color on and then you fuse those two together and kind of chop blend them. And uh, you would do that for the rest of your flower here. I also did it on this one down here. This one down here is a little bit lighter on the top. I kind of like that. That way it looked like this one was a lighter blue than what this one is here. Now once that dried, what I did, I came back with the pattern that Michelle provides for anyone who does her class and I put sketched the pattern back on put the pattern on tracing paper and then came back uh, and put transfer paper white transfer paper and you can see the little lines here and that is going to be my pattern lines which I will go ahead and do my floats and different things for the light color and once I do that then I can pretty much do all the details. So if you have a painting, you're not quite satisfied with it, you can paint right back over that and add your colors back to it again. Let it dry, put your pattern back on, and you can start all over. So it doesn't mean that you have to put these paintings behind your closet doors and keep them there and never come back to them. So that's just a quick little tip to let you know you can repaint these and re-put your patterns on and you're good to go again. Just make sure you let everything dry in between. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Take care. Have fun.